I've been on a diet for, um, let's see, one, two, three, three whole days now. Um, the reason I'm dieting is because I'm, um, extremely overweight, and, um, and you know when you're overweight, you get a lot of health problems, like, um, like heart disease, um, some kind of, some cancers, um, diabetes, and, you know, all sorts of things, um, and I'm afraid of that, so, plus, um, the only time I've ever been skinny was, um, when I was younger, actually when I was, like, um, six or seven, maybe, and even then I started gaining weight, it's because I wasn't in a good environment, um, I've lived through a lot of abuse, so, um, if you're an abuse survivor, then you know how it is growing up and turning to food, it's like a self-medicate thing, um, but I did lose a lot of my weight at one time, I, vi I uh, went to a doctor, and, um, and she told me that I really needed to take care of the weight, because, you know, I could get diabetes since it's my mom has it, my grandma has it, and so she put me on a diet, this was about, this was when I was 18 years old, now I'm 20, um, she put me on a diet, and I, I lost weight rapidly, you know, really fast, I lost like over 50 pounds, it might have been 70 pounds, um, but I still had a lot to go, but I lost all that weight so fast, and I lost all that weight in only three months, so, um, after that, I started experiencing, um, bad pain in my right side, my stomach, um, the, ab the abdomen area, I've been, I had really bad pain, like, um, it would burn really bad, felt like it was on fire, and then I felt sharp pain, and, um, I remember I would cry my eyes out and wish God to take my life because it hurt so bad. Um, and I didn't know what was wrong with me. I didn't know anything about what, you know, um, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know anything about the body, you know, what can, ha what can go wrong. And, um, and then finally I was looking online and I found things that was similar to my pain. Um, at first I look at appendicitis and, um, I had on, like pretty much all the symptoms, but it was in a different area. You know, th when you have appendicitis, it usually hurts under your belly button area, and you feel it like you know through that area. But mine was on the right side, so I looked again, and I saw um, gallstones, and um, and the symptoms was right on. It was right, so I knew. I'd have to have surgery to get it removed, though I didn't have any medical insurance or anything, so I had to wait, and we were trying to get stuff, um, some kind of insurance online, and, um, I just couldn't wait any longer, I would just, cr I just crawl in a ball in my room, and hold my stomach and rock, like this, back and forth, and I would cry my eyes out and just pray to God, please take my life, because it, it's too much pain. I would, um, you know them bottles of heartburn medicine, the liquid? I would drink the bottle straight down. And then I'd get so nauseous because I was overdosed. And I'd have, I'd be vomiting over and over and over. And then, um, the gallstone attacks got so bad that I was just vomiting every day. I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, I couldn't keep anything down. I went to the doctor, hospital, actually. And, um, that's what it was, gallstones, and I had to have emergency, um, gallbladder removal surgery. And, um, so that's how that went, and that's just because of the rapid weight loss that I did. Um, so, you know, I lost the weight once, and then I got depressed again, and, um, and then I gained all the weight back, but... I just got so down, you know, when you get, when you get so depressed, 
food is just... I can't explain it. Um, it really, really helps. Like, like there's this void inside of you, and when you eat, it kind of fills the void while you're eating. But of course, after you're done eating, the void is back. The pain is back. You know. So you just you keep eating until you know. Yeah. So that's what I did, and that's what I do. And um, because I have um, compulsive overeating, where I binge, you know, I I um, that means eating a a huge amount at once, you know, because some emotions that you're feeling and trying to get rid of these this pain that you're feeling and um you know and I've also gone through um some episodes of bulimia but my mom's the only one who knows about that um that was just because I ate and I was I'm so big and I, I just ate one bite of food made me feel like like, I just ate so much that I'm, you know, that I just want to gain weight no matter what I do. So I feel so guilty after taking one bite of food. I feel so guilty. It's so hard to explain. But I just, I had to get rid of it. And after it was gone, I felt relieved, but I felt ashamed. So, I went through quite a few weeks of that. And then it only happens once in a while when I go through a, a binge or something. So now I've been on a diet for about three days straight. Tomorrow will be my fourth day. I've already lost eight pounds. So that's rapid weight loss, which isn't good, but at least I ain't got the gallbladder anymore to cause me trouble. Um, I, I've, um, my doctor, when I first got on diet, she had me, she had me keep a food diary so that she could see what I was putting in my body how much, and, um, so that's what I'm doing now, but now, you know, I'm on the diet, and I'm keeping my food diary, making, I'm keeping an eye on everything I eat, so I can control everything I eat, and, um, but, you know, my problem is I get obsessed with dieting, that I feel like I, I shouldn't eat, I, I feel like I should punish myself because I ate, like, today I had two rice cakes, which is a, um, a diet snack, and I had an apple, um, with my regular meals, um, and I felt so guilty, and that was just diet food. I felt so guilty that I felt like I ate so much, so I've been going through some eating disorders, um, but you know, I'm fighting really hard to kind of keep things, um, you know, all right. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm doing this video because I'm starting the diet, and hopefully I can stay on the diet for months to come, and you can just watch as I lose weight with me. And hopefully, anything I say will be an inspiration to anyone else out there trying to lose weight, and maybe I'll help somebody. Uh, right now, I'm just going to write down um, a couple things in my food diary. Um, that I forgot to write earlier. I had a little, um, a little tiny bit of spaghetti for dinner, um, and an apple today for um, a snack. So I forgot to write that down. I'm gonna write that down right now. Basically, um, how I do it is I'll show it right here. Is um, I got I got a little notebook and I just use it for a food diary. That's what you got. You can do it, and um, it really helps you. See, for Monday, here's I don't know if you see it. That's what I do, and, um, and I put my food diary right here. 